Okay, so today we're going to talk about socialization, and in particular, I want to introduce a couple of theories as a way to explain how socialization works. So you definitely want to read the chapter on socialization first in order to get a definition of what it is about, and um, then look at these two theories as a, as a way of understanding socialization. So with socialization, what we're primarily interested in is how does one become a member of society? How, how do they um, interact with one another in order to create a sense of identity, uh, a sense of belonging to society? This is um, an ongoing process in a number of different ways. And one theory that's particularly important to sociologists when we talk about socialization is Peter Berger and his theory on the social construction of reality. Now, Peter Berger has a particular point of view on so socialization. He's going to say that um, socialization is a way of not only introducing a person into society, but also being someone who's a member of and therefore um, reproducing society in some meaningful way. And so he has a three-part, you know, three-stage theory in order to explain how one becomes a, a social person, essentially. And, you know, that the sort of um, underlines for Peter Berger that you're not born a social person in the sense that you have to learn through um, different dynamics, different um, influences on on how to be social. So it's really critical for Peter Berger that he says that you're not born into society a social person. Um, so with society, then it's this constant um, dialect or uh, interaction between how people produce meaning in the world and then how that meaning is um, brought it back onto the person um, that we're constantly integrated into society and then reintegrated into society. And you can sort of see that through uh, social changes that we've seen in society, whether it be gender changes or economic changes that um, have really sort of redefined society. But you have to start with a society in order to change it. So let's start with his theory on the social construction reality, and uh, in particular talk about how does one become a social person. The first stage for Berger is this idea of externalization. Um, again, he, he's saying that people aren't born into, um, into the world as a social person. That, in fact, being a social person is, is the, the process of, of socialization. That is the final product. That once you become a social person, you, ha you have finished, essentially, the sort of socialization process. Um, human beings enter a world already made for the person, and then they spend the rest of their life negotiating the social world. Um, so it, really what socialization is, is that it's this ongoing relationship to the world. Um, he produces himself in the world. What does it mean for me to be a social person? How do I act and react in this world? So externalization is basically that a social world is external to a person. Um, you, when you're born into this world, you don't create that world. It's already there for you. Um, so it's an external reality, and at least initially. The second stage is known as objectivation. Sometimes you'll hear it as objectification. Either one is fine. The objectivation is when you're actually um, interacting with this social world. So yeah, it's something that's outside of you in the externalization stage. But in the second stage, you're starting to make meaning out of what you're seeing. So for example, um, babies you know, start to interact and understand that there's a relationship between um, his mother or her, her father, that there's there's something going on there where the, the social aspect is starting to become meaningful and starting to become concrete. Um, so even though it's something out there, the sort of social world is out there, um, it is sort of, um, there is an awareness that it's there um, and you start to interact with it. Um, so 
um, one example that he uses a lot is language. So language is a way of, of understanding the social world, acknowledging that a social world exists. And once you start to acquire language, you start to understand the, the logic and the sort of uh, objectivity of what the world, or sorry, the social world is. Um, so even though you're born into this world, it's sort of external to you, you're, you're confronted with it, it becomes a reality, it becomes something that you can recognize as an objective reality. The last stage of the social construction of reality is known as internalization. Um, internalization is when the social world becomes personally meaningful to you, that you're actually integrated into society and actually contributing to it. So with the first stage, externalization, you know, the social world is something that's out there, you can't change it, you're born into it initially. The second stage being that you understand what it is, you start to recognize it as an objective reality. Well, in the last stage, it becomes internally meaningful to you. So you start to, you understand not only that, that there's this idea of boys and girls, but that you actually internally understand that you are a girl or you are a boy and then you act out of that understanding. So with internalization, then this is sort of the last stage where it's not objective anymore. It's, it's the social world is subjective. It's something that you know from a personal point of view what it means to be in that particular society. And for Berger, he says this is the last stage of socialization because you, became a, you become a product of society. You, are, um, you, you have a subjective structure or awareness of the social world and this sort of completes the relationship between self and society or person and society um, so that you start to create meaning systems that are personally meaningful to you. Okay, so again, externalization, th th there's a social world that exists for you, you know, when you enter the world at birth. Um, and then over time, that world becomes, you become aware of that world in the, in the objective sense. And then the last stage, internalization, where it becomes subjective uh, to you, it's, it's a, a personally meaningful to you. Um, so what I'd like you to do, just so um, I can make sure you understand this material, because it can get quite abstract, is to um, do lecture-based assignment 4A, which is to come up with an example that you can apply the theory. You can, um, I came up with some examples, you can use one of your own, but maybe learning about gender or race, living in another country, the political or religious structure of society. These are all things that exist um, the moment that you're born into the world, but then how do you um, interact with it? So use these examples and then go through the theory and make sure that you understand um, the three stages of this particular theory. Thank you.